see if you can get that on. Can you see the sort of the, we've got the seeds of the, this is a kangaroo grass here. And then this one here is a wallaby grass. So the reason I wanted to point these out today was because I think that they're, um, these were both grasses all over Australia before European colonization. And sort of Europeans brought their hooved animals over, we've stumped them all down and they don't, they don't really grow that well anymore in, in compacted soils. But these two grasses were really, really common all over Australia. And um, what I would encourage people to do is if you've got a spot at home, is to pop in these grasses. Um, grasses are the, what do you call it, like the, the poor unloved child, I think of vegetation. Often when we think of gardens, we think of flowering shrubs or like miniature trees and things like that, or, or lawn, turf like kaikuyu lawn. But these native grasses are they're important in the tapestry of a native ecosystem. So unless you have a mixture of what they call stories or strata of vegetation, so grasses, small shrubs, taller shrubs and trees, if that combination, if you're missing out on one of them, it doesn't really make that environment come together. So this video is just a shout out to please um, have a look at um, native grasses online. You can buy them. Um, just type in like native grasses into Google, native grasses Australia buy, something like that. And there, are, I know there's at least one website that um, where you can order the seeds. And so we planted these about six months ago and they were probably only that big and in, in the six months they've, they've grown like this. So if you, want a, if you want a piece of like, what do I want to call it, the heritage of Australia, in your own garden, these are the perfect things to, to grow. Don't need a lot of water, don't need a lot of care, but they'll, they'll keep growing. So hopefully you feel the same way about um, native grasses that, that I do now. <laughs> well done.